Hello ladies, Sharon's here. I am so glad to be back. Trust me on this. Today is going to be outstanding. I am going down my list, going to give you a few of my favorites. We're going to talk a little bit about my eye surgery. And then we're going to answer a couple of questions from you gals. So hang tight, this is going to be an exciting day. First thing I want you to do is if you are new to my channel today, I implore you to scroll on down, see that little subscribe button, hit that subscribe button, girlfriend. You'll be a member of my tribe. We'll be lifelong friends. And then see that little bell? Click the bell. It'll be notifying you of my upcoming videos. I generally film twice a week. So, my ladies, we're going to start off with where have I been, what kind of surgery did I have, how long have I been out, and so on and so forth. Um, I don't know the name of the surgery, but it was this eye. I guess you can see it's still kind of healing. I don't mean to look yucky and don't get sick, my ladies, but that is how it looks today. This uh, happened um, almost uh, two weeks ago, the week before last week. The surgery was very simple, short and sweet, although they do give you a general to put you completely out. That's anesthesia, if you don't know what I'm talking about. And the surgery was lasted 30, maybe 40 minutes, and then you recuperate. Put your gloves on and go home, girlfriends. You're healed. She did not want a patch on my eye or anything else. She wanted it to work with this one to get it straightened out. Now you say, well, Sharon, what in the world happened to your eye? <laughs> Good question. But here's what happened. We all know that I've been suffering the last um, year or so with macular degeneration in this eye. Um, I started out with dry eye in my menopausal years. <laughs> First thing, dry eye, right? Who, who'd believe that? I never had that problem. So I started seeing a retina specialist and, uh, you know, ophthalmologist quite frequently. And with the dry eye, it developed into macular degeneration. That means you're losing eyesight out of this eye. That means sometimes it looks foggy in your eye. Sometimes you're seeing your letters kind of crossed and you have to close your eye and read like I've been doing for months. <laughs> and it, then all of a sudden your eye will kind of wander over to the side, almost like you're getting a lazy eye. All of these are connected with macular degeneration that starts out with dry eye and then we can keep going. All right, so... With all of this putting aside, um, I was still seeing and getting, a sh I had a couple of shots in my eyeball in this eye about a year or so ago, and it worked beautifully. My eyes stopped leaking. I didn't have anything wrong then. And then all of a sudden, I started getting some crossed vision, you know, where you see two, two of everything side by side, and that can mess you up if you're driving a car. It's like... Hello, which one's here, which one's here? You don't know what's real. <laughs> and then I noticed my eye was kind of wandering over like I had lazy eye. And if you'll watch some of my videos this year back and you hear me, ying, 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 you can see that eye kind of moving over. And so I said, oh no, hark, hark, we cannot have that. That's, uh, um, yeah, I don't do imperfections like that. So... Uh, not when there's somebody that can fix it, right, girlfriend? So, they sent me to this other ophthalmologist, and her specialist primarily was children, actually, pediatric ophthalmology, where, you know, the kids that are born with the lazy eyes, she fix them. Well, this is the same type of surgery. Well, naturally, she took me on because <laughs> I'm convincing. And um, so, she said, this is going to be a cakewalk if it works. Okay, and I went, ee, ee, ee. and of course, insurance paid for it. Hooray, hooray. That was cool. Paid for the surgery unit, the eye institute, where I went and had this done with her, and blah, blah, blah. So, it was, like I said, it was a cakewalk. I woke up, I felt no major pain. I felt kind of a tightness in my eye. It's still kind of swollen, and actually, it's pulled kind of tight. Now, I'm hoping if this one works out and it's pulled tight, the she go over and make this one is that either that or I'm going to have to start correcting my makeup but right now it's still kind of swollen and I just stopped using all the um 
uh, drops that she had me use uh, for the 10 days and blah, blah, blah. And I do these exercises that are great. I'll show you that one day. But um, so I'm doing very well. I'm so pleased. Now, she did tell me, once you come out of anesthesia and you start looking around, your double vision is going to drive you crazy for a good week and a half. It's going to be worse than it ever was. And I thought, well, why? But I found out why. I mean, it was horrible. I, I had to reach out. My daughter had to help me walk around. I mean, you know, I missed the toilet a couple of times. Do you believe that? You go in to sit down in your throne room and you can't get situated because everything's so double you don't know which where to go. You know, this pot or that pot, you know? So, I mean, to tell you, girlfriends, it was a hoot. It was a bloody mess. It's so not me, okay? But, you know, I got to be patient, right? And then, of course, everybody had to put my drops in because I couldn't even see where my eye was to put these drops in. And I had to take the drops four times a day for 10 days. So, my daughter kept coming over and then my granddaughter because, you know, I was a fool. Okay, so anyway... Back to the story, I now am not seeing double and have it for two days. That is huge. Um, I could even read some, and this is the deal. Right before I had this done, um, I had my doctor call and find something for me to use to read that was large enough. I mean, I went everywhere. I went to every bookstore. I went online. I did everything, but she came up with this particular looking glass which is fabulous okay and it's got another little prism type thing in the middle so it even accentuates it more i'm absolutely loving it it's not ugly and then the page magnifier because i haven't been able to read in a in over a year and i mean unless i close one eye all the time so this is the best one it's very very sturdy I absolutely love it. Um, she found it somewhere, and I think she ordered it through um, Barnes and Noble or something. But oh my gosh, this this is fabulous! I mean, I could, uh, girls, I couldn't read squat. You noticed that, you know, when I was reading my Q and A, the the sound like first grader. Sound like a first grader because I couldn't see a bloody thing. So. That's the way it goes. Okay, so I love this. And the magnifying glass is working fabulous, too. Most of the time now, I don't need that. I just need my readers right this second. I don't know what's on the list that's going to be happening from now till then. Because I haven't gone uh, for my um, second follow-up. The first one, she says, you're doing great. Yay. Yay. You know, but my second follow-up is, is a while down the line. So right now, I'm doing great. Also, I wanted to tell you something else that's fabulous. <laughs> when I got out of surgery, they came over and they handed me these. And they said, Sharon, we're going to put this on your swollen eyes. Now, mind you, let me show you this. It is a little wiggly, gel-like mask, right? Girlfriends. OMG. I have never seen anything this good in my life. And, of course, you just put it on your eyes like that and you rest. And, actually, it kind of sticks on your eyes. There are things on the side where you can pull it off. Because, I mean, once it's on, it, it's it like adheres to your skin. It's friggin' eyes cold to pieces. And guess what? It stays that way. I do know I do know one thing. You know how I am. There I was just coming out of surgery, and they stick this thing on. I said, okay, who produces this? Who carries this? What's the brand name? I need this, and I need this for my ladies. Well, they started laughing because, actually, a lot of them were my subscribers up there. So they wrote all this down, and I'm going to put it down below. Is it pricey? Mm-hmm. Is it off the wall too, too much? No. But I will tell you this. It's pricey. But you can use this over and over and over again, and it's twice, I mean, almost four times colder than what we're used to. Now, I noticed when I put this on my eye, in five minutes they came and they pulled it up, and they said, oh, your swelling went down. Five minutes? Hello? <laughs> Let's hope it takes care of all my bags. Okay, girlfriends, because I'm telling you, this is fantastic. I'm pretty sure it was a, 
I can't remember. I'll put it down below who the company was. But I was uber impressed with all their products. They, a little pricey, but you know what? You got time to get what you pay for. You know what I'm saying? You know I believe in that, girls. Okay. Heaven, you're going to love that. That is the most unique eye mask that I have ever dealt with in my life. I mean, it fits all under here, all around your orbital bone, so every part of your eye it does not swell. Girlfriends, I'm telling you. And I know you love it, don't you? I noticed you noticed. All right, this is going to blow you away. I went with my daughter to, the, Texas has a great big huge flea market in Canton, Texas. And I mean, it's acres and acres and acres and acres of all these people selling everything. I came across this gal and she was selling these in all colors. Well, it looks like a poncho, right? <laughs> well, it kind is and kind of not. I want you to see the different ways that you can use these. Now, this is as cute as it can be, and it's got the seam here on this side, but you can turn it around and make tons of other tops. Look at this, ladies. I'm going to hone in on this so you can check it out. Oh, and the colors that they come in are to die for. Inexpensive? Mm-hmm. Can you say 25 bucks? I'm not kidding. All right, now let me show you something. I, this was one of the colors I picked out because I just absolutely love it. Uh, then, well, they had tons and tons of colors. I mean, gorgeous. They're, you know, like Pashina type, beautiful colors. I mean, look at this royal blue with this gold trim. Is that not to die for? I mean, really, ladies? Now, they come rolled up like this in a little net bag with this picture, and it shows you how to wear it, what to put, how to put it on. There's so many ways to wear this, you cannot believe it. And see what I'm saying in this cute little ditty bag. And I also got another one as well as this. Actually, you know what I did? I got a color for each and every one of my girlfriends, and we're getting ready to have our, you know, slumber party. You know, again, I told you, you know, we do that every month, but because of my eye, we had to put it back. I'm giving all the girls one of these because I bought them each and I knew their favorite colors already. So now this one is a beautiful print and it is like a black and gold. Is that not chic? Now mind you, you can wear these so many different ways. You can dress them up and dress them down. You can also wear this completely off the shoulder here and you can wear your uh, camis under it and let the strap show or you can wear a bralette this got a pretty strap to it you can wear any you can wear it over t-shirts you can wear it over anything this is so much fun and I want you to know I've gotten a million compliments off of this who would have thought you know but hey what can I say girlfriend it works and it, they are so cute and they're so comfortable and very inexpensive. Like I said, if it's too chilly, you can wear a tank or any kind of top underneath. And it can go either way you want. You know, it can be centered, it can be pushed over. But the picture gives you all the ideas of what to do it because it's one piece. All right? So, in other words, it's not like a Pashina. It's very similar to almost a poncho, but it's not a poncho. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to put that down below because, I, you know, I know you guys are going to go crazy over this. I mean, it's just darling. Okay, the next thing that I, in particular, have been crazy about this month, or, or and I'm using this a lot, especially since I can't use a lot of the stuff around my eye till I deal. I've been using my natural konjac puff. You know, the one that's hard and you let sit in water till it gets squishy soft. And it's got the little string on it. It's always hanging on the hook in the bathroom. You can use these over and over and over because, you know, it's it's a 100% natural material. It's safe for sensitive skin. But at the same time, it exfoliates. And I have not been able to use my glycolic acid. Actually, today is the first day that I've been able to wear makeup at all for, until the doctor gave me permission. And you know I spent over an hour. Or put my makeup on. It's like you forget the shortcuts. You do. But anyway, 
you talk about excited, yes, and this has helped me with my exfoliation. Because I couldn't use my glycolic acid or, or salicylic or lactic or anything. So this helped. And then, of course, I had to be careful, you know, with my Tasha granules that I made sure it was all foamy first. I've had to be really, really careful with my skin. A lot of my skincare I couldn't use because it moves, including my retin-A. <laughs> now, girlfriends, you know what? I couldn't be more happy for Marlena at Makeup Geek. Right now, I think she's got her brain back. I do. I think she needs to stick with what she's fantastic at doing, and that is producing the most gorgeous makeup lines. I love because she's doing these makeup classes online. It's like our, our Marlena came back, okay? She's pregnant, too. Did you guys know that? Isn't that sweet? She's going to have a baby. <laughs> Thank God it's not me. But anyway, she has all her new stuff out. I, I don't want the light to shine on this. I'll kind of hold it down a little bit. But I ordered a bunch of the singles that, because she's got tons of new colors out. So I wanted to get in on this. And, I mean, I got all kinds of colors that are colors for me that work for me, okay? And I got all kinds of naturals. I got... Um, well, I just got new things that I can mix and match that are cool. Some are warm. I got a lot of purple stuff. You know, she's got the two Matrix um, palettes out, and I'm waiting on mine to come in because there's back order on it. And then, and then I got a few of these extra, and they're all magnetic. It fits in these beautiful little cases, and you know me. I love the smaller neck. In lieu of the large, this is what I love, and it's beautiful anyway. It's got her logo on front. It's pretty. But you know what? I was using her shadows again. And can I tell you something? I don't know what she's done. But all these new batches, oh my gosh, the look is to die for. I'm In my next video that I'm going to do uh, in a couple of days, I'm going to be wearing all these new colors. Well, some of the new colors. And you're just not going to believe it. They're absolutely fantastic. They're going to knock you out of the ballpark. I don't, I, right when you think she couldn't get any better, she's back. She's back home now. She's doing what she does best. And that's putting out the most fantastic makeup ever. And, I mean, and I love, love, love the classes. And, hey, Check it out, ladies. You're not going to believe it. It's like, she's back. Lover, lover, lover. Okay. Another thing, people are going to want to know what I am wearing today on my eyes. And this is, of course, <laughs> Charlotte Tailberry. But now, I'm not saying that's all I wear, ladies. But you know I'm pretty crazy about Charlotte. And these, this... Uh, palette is Exagger Eyes. You know, this is beautiful. Uh, covered the whole lid with this. Um, this, I have turned it upside down. This was my, wait a minute. This one, <laughs> because you go into sequence, right? Okay, and this one I use for my uh, transition line. This one I use for the corner and to uh, cut and enhance. And then, of course, this one went on my eyelid. I love Charlotte Tilbury. I'm crazy about it. I've got almost, well, I do have every single palette that she makes and everything else. Um, I love the consistency of it. I love it because it's got bump. I love it because it's not too heavy and drastic. It can give you a beautiful look, you know, without aging you. Um, I also like it because it's got the shimmers and not the glitter and everything, and we older ladies can handle the light shimmer in here. I mean, look, I'm, I've got it on my lids. I even, you know, ha have the one in my um, transition line. Looks like it has a little shine to it, but I guess it doesn't. But the shadows are superb. And I've got them all, and I love them all. I will never deter her from buying her products. Because, I mean, they're just off the chain. Okay. The next favorite that I had for the month 
is of course my hourglass ghost ambient ghost i love it love it love it love it you know i'm crazy about hourglass you know these are my, my all every time i wear blush it's usually all hourglass and i'll combine two sometimes three but i love the ghost i think it has been fantastic this is the uh diffusion and i use that under my eyes and as you can see it, it's just light it's fabulous it's not cakey all these others set the face and then you've got blushes there as well and a bronzer so this is like it's all in one right there i'm crazy about it you know how i am about hourglass now i believe i had mentioned this in one of my other videos about the wonder cloth i can't remember if i did or not but this is i've i bought eight and this has got to be like a miracle cloth you know i've used uh, microfiber but they were furrier they were very similar to this very very similar i mean they were all soft and, and lovely and shiny and pretty see how shiny and pretty this is well this exfoliates who would ever believe anything this soft and yummy would exfoliate? It also blows up to be fat when it's wet. I know that sounds crazy, girls. If you ever try this, you will never, ever pick up another cloth again for your face. This thing plumps up. I can wipe, rub all of my you know, skincare in. You know, I put it on my face, and then I rub it all over, and it just, I said, oh, my God. I can feel it exfoliating. I see little bits of dry skin coming off. And it's so soft and gorgeous and pretty. And then when I rinse it off, it gets fat. I mean, that thing's fat. And I said, oh my gosh, this is heaven. You can go around your eyes and everything. No pull, no tug. This is yummy. I will never use anything else but this. So, and I can't remember who told me about it. But it was, um, it was one of you gals that said, Sharon, have you ever tried the Wonder Cloth? You'll go crazy over it. Crazy isn't the word for it. I bought one for everybody, all the girls in the family and everything else. And, I mean, it's, it just takes off every bit of your makeup. Your skin is gorgeous. It's perfect. Well, you don't have any babies. But if you got ba grandbabies, yeah, this is soft and good for them. But it's, it, your complexion becomes smoother it becomes softer, definitely healthier. I mean, this is, it's, it's a wonder cloth. Girlfriends, you have got to try it. Like I said, I, I bought numerous, numerous cloths. And they are to duffel. And launder, you can just throw them in the washing machine and now they come. They're gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Try it. I'm going to have this listed down below. Amazon, ladies. Amazon. Okay. One of the next things is I am trying a product uh, reviewing, I should say, Wander Beauty. In a package they sent me, in a PR package, I had the baggage claim gold eye masks. Well, I've, I've used a couple of packages because they sent me a bunch. And that's what it looks like, as you can see, the little gold eye mask here. To die for. Girlfriends, to die for. I mean... You could have little lines under your eyes. You use this, keep it on for at least 20 minutes, take it off, and you're going, what happened? What happened? I am loving these eye masks. I promise you. And you know me, I know my mask, okay, girlfriend? Then, what was really pretty in the package they also sent for me to review, and I, I really haven't reviewed it yet, but you will see me doing that, this is a uh, trip for two. It is the blush and bronzer duo in this pretty little package. And there it is side by side with a little mirror. You talk about heaven for travel. Hello, ladies, please. Can we talk? I mean, here's your blush. And look at that. That's pretty. And here's your bronze. You know what? That could, be, that bronzer, ooh, that could be used as a 
great, great transition, like you say, in your friends. You know, we like to multitask our products, don't we? But this is gorgeous. So I'm going to be showing you guys when I do a get ready with me here in a couple of days how pretty this is because I'm going to use some of their products. One of them I had a fit over. And, of course, it's a lipstick, and I'll be wearing it when I show you this. But is that not the cutest thing you ever saw? Okay, well, look here, girlfriends. Here is the liner on this side, your lip liner. And it winds itself up, which I do love, because, you know, that I use the Estee Lauder one right now. And this is the lippy. Let me show you the color of this lippy they said. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. That's a, like a mauve color. Now, you know what I did when I used this? I wanted it lighter because I was wearing kind of a cream colored top. So, I took the buxom white Russian. I did! And put it on top of this. Oh my gosh! It was gorgeous. It was gorgeous. I got compliments everywhere. What lipstick are you wearing? What are you wearing? Well, actually, I'm wearing two things. <laughs> Wander Beauty and Buxom. Hello. Yes, my ladies, it's gorgeous. Then, let me tell you what they had in their package. I just went nuts over this. It was the Glow Ahead Face Oil. Now, this is pretty unique because this is what I did. I did not put any oil in my makeup. Once I got my foundation on, I took this tube and I just dripped some of this oil in my hand, just like yay, and it's drippy. And I just mixed it on my hand like this. I said, okay, that's not too bad. I rubbed it between my fingers and then I patted on my foundation before I did anything else. And then I waited 10 to 15 minutes just to make sure it wouldn't move. All right, because then I had to put blush on and, you know, bronzer. So I wanted this sheen. Oh, girls, gorgeous. And this smells so lovely. You know what, though? I got to be honest with you. This smells exactly like an oil that Guerlain Naturals has. Same exact smell, and I used the oils for so many years, you know me, I'm going to know, okay? Smells exactly like that. Just saying. I don't know why I'm saying that, just did. All right. The next thing that they had in their um, little bag of goodies was the Wonder Beauty Catch the Light. It's the uh, highlighter, and I thought, huh. Well, this is kind of neat, because you know what you do? You screw it up, and look at there. There is a shiny, iridescent ball at the end. Now, let me show you something. So, you put this all over your skin. Let me try this hand. Maybe you can see better over here. And this is kind of a real pretty gold highlighter. Beautiful. Now, this is what I like about it. It's not too in your face, for Pete's sakes. Okay, this is just enough. All right, and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna show you for instance, because I don't have any highlighter on today. That's just that. Okay, girlfriends. Okay, I'm just gonna rub over right here, and I'm just gonna pat. Ooh. Now that's subtle, but that's rich looking. Do you see what I mean? Ooh, I got, I got to be rich on the other side, too. Hell, all right. Oh, girls. Listen, this stuff is cool. Look at that. Do you see that? See, it's just enough. It's like it's not too much in your face, but it looks rich with the rest of your makeup. Okay, that's a winner in my book, that's for sure. Oh, gosh. wonder how long this is going to last. Because I'm going to have to be ordering more. Ooh, Wonder Beauty. You hit that out of the ballpark. I like that. I love the lipstick, too. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the next thing that I wanted to tell you guys about 
is that I order tons of sponges all the time. Like this is one of my containers of sponges, okay? And I've got all different colors and blah, blah, blah. And it's a cute little cylinder and I just had gone to Michael's, bought the glass cylinder and put this around it. I showed you my other containers years back that I put together on my, you know, dressing area. Now, these sponges, and the reason I have so many is because, you know, if I got, get lazy and don't want to wash it after each, each makeup, you know, look, and I'll wait till the end of the week, then, you know, I'll have enough. But all these different colors come, let me show you, from Miss A. And I've told you about this before, these uh, uh, Korean sponges that I always buy from Miss A online, and they're in uh, packages like this. It's called the Wonder Blender. See what I'm saying? And then here's another one, and this one's kind of purple, kind of lavender, it's Wonder Blender. Okay, people, these things are about a dollar. And when I order them, I order tons, and they send you this little styrofoam envelope, and every time I need more, I'm, you know, going to help somebody out, you know, I've got tons here. So... I want you, and those are the AOA Studio, and they're like a dollar, and that beats the heck of a beauty blender that is $20. I started using these when <clears throat> Carol with the O oh Carol Show, I love Carol, started, you know, if you want to find a bargain, call Carol. <laughs> Or DM her or email her any way you can get hold of her. I promise you, that girl knows what to find everything. And you know what? She'll find it at bargain prices and good quality at that. Carol's our shopper, okay? We trust Carol. So <laughs> that is where I got, you know, this from. So needless to say, when everybody around me needs sponges, hello. They come to Sharon because Sharon's loaded with them. And that is because Carol told me so, okay? <laughs> All right. Listen, ladies, this has been a ton of fun. I think I have carried, uh, covered so many of my favorites and told you a little bit about what's, you know, been happening with the eyes. Bear with me. I'm getting back on a regular schedule as much as possible. Hopefully, I won't have to have anything else coming up that's going to drag me down or put me, you know, out of practice for a while. I love each and every one of you. I do have an enormous, and when I say enormous, in my next video, I will have a very large giveaway. And I think you're going to really want to be there in that one, okay? Uh, for all of you that are not subscribed to my channel, please scroll on down. Hit that subscribe button. All you new subbies, mwah, mwah, mwah. I have talked to quite a few of you on messages. I'm catching up on that, too. <laughs> but bear with me, girlfriends. Be kind. Be nice. I love you all. Until I see you again, I want you to stay sassy, classy, confident, and give me a big thumbs up on this video.